The prop manipulator and prop mover don't work on custom static meshes. So if you've imported a static mesh and you're looking to use these devices on it, we need to convert it to a prop. This is actually really easy to do. First, we need to figure out where the static mesh is located. With it selected in the viewport, we can go ahead and click on the Browse To button, this one right here. Then simply right click on it. Then go ahead and choose Scripted Asset Actions. Convert to Prop, and you can use any of these, metal, wood, or stone. So let's go ahead and just choose the bottom one, which is wood. Now, it doesn't look like anything happened, and in the viewport, nothing did happen. However, down here, we have a new folder that says Custom Props, and we can see that we now have a custom prop built out of Suzanne here. So let's go ahead and just delete this one out of here, go ahead and grab this one and drag it in, and by looking at the icon up here, we can see that this is a blueprint prop, which will allow us to use the prop manipulator and prop mover devices.